Now to the political chaos in New York State and the stunning decision redrawing the maps of congressional districts that's set off a fierce scramble for seats. A number of representatives found they no longer live in their districts and others will have to run against each other. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer says one consultant calls this the congressional equivalent of the Hunger Games. To hear angry Democrats tell it, the man redrawing New York's congressional districts has created a circus, a game of musical chairs where several lawmakers could find themselves without a seat when the music stops. The special master comes out with a map that puts four black members of Congress in the same district. So yes, we have a problem with these maps. It would make Jim Crow Blush. Under the proposed maps, Hakeem Jeffries lives in Congresswoman Yvette Clark's district. Grace Meng lives in Tom Twazi's district. Nidia Velasquez lives in Nicole Maliotakis's district. Manhattan's Jerry Nadler and Carol Maloney are in the same district. Sean Maloney lives in Mondaire Jones's district. And Jones lives in Jamal Bowman's district. Who we have is a, 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 a judge appointing a master that's created a very hyperpartisan set of maps for these congressional districts that is basically going to create a democratic hunger games here amongst our delegation in New York. The irony is that the original district lines were challenged by Republicans who said Democrats who drew the lines were gerrymandering, seeking to create more democratic seats to head off expected Republican gains in the national midterm elections. The state court of appeals agreed. Now Democrats are making the same charge and demanding another do-over from the court. They need to fix the mess that was created. One person not complaining is Staten Island Republican Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis, whose district originally included Democratic neighborhoods like Park Slope. The new map puts Park Slope in a district that's now considered an open seat. The lines are certainly more fair than what the Democrats had put forward in their plan. And about that open seat, Park Slope favorite son Bill de Blasio is said to be considering a run. But Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis suggests that since you don't have to live in a district, that former Congressman Max Rose look at that seat instead of challenging her. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Both Democrats and Republicans say they plan to ask the upstate judge hearing the case to make changes before he gives final approval. A hearing will be held Friday, and depending on the judge's ruling, the case could go to the Court of Appeals again.